So I read some speculation that if you turn the blood off, then it is easier to turn face in the My Career Mode, what's up internet, my name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to my 2K16 My Career Let's Play Ebenezer's Revenge. Gonna fight Dean Ambrose on SmackDown uh, week 3 October, heading toward Hell in a Cell with Roman Reigns. First match on the card is kind of bullshit, but whatever. Uh, and we're gonna spend today discussing what happened last night on Fast Lane. Now I'm not going to sit here and recap each and every match as part of my reactions for Fastlane, because that would be asinine, uh, but I will certainly kind of go over the larger, you know, the, the broader strokes uh, on that stuff as I attempt to be the perfect John Cena golden boy here and not fight outside the ring and not get into, you know, have, have blood happen and... Be less aggressive, according to the video game. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I, I would say I enjoyed about half the matches on Fastlane last night. Uh, I thought it was kind of a disjointed show. I did enjoy seeing Mauro on the pre-show. So it's like, hey, here's some, here's some good commentary, and then Cole's back. Uh, so there was that part of it. But I'd say overall, I thought it was pretty good. Um... Obviously, outside of some of the results now, my predictions, more or less, were pretty spot on. Uh, I missed out, like, my... I, I was surprised that, 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 that they didn't utilize the Wyatts in the way that everyone expected them to utilize the Wyatts. So I was surprised to see the Titans go over in that match. Um, but other than that, uh, my... and and. Other than the fact that they they didn't use the Wyatts to take out Lesnar in the main event, uh, I thought the rest of my predictions were pretty spot on in terms of how they handled their, you know, wins and losses and everything else uh, over the course of that evening. So, once again, for those of you who are like, oh, why Callisto? I'm like, obviously they're going to put over Callisto. There's no point in putting the bell back on Del Rio. Like, that, that'd be, you know, dumb. So... Shockingly enough, they actually did, you know, they had a 2 out of 3 falls match on that pre-show and still went to commercial, which is like, what? Now, they they covered it nicely because it was after a chair shot disqualification, so, you know, they, okay, you know, then you can go to commercial and come back, and at that point, you're on that next fall, so, that makes, you know, kind of makes sense, but at the same time, I hate how they go to they, they go to commercial on a network show. Like, that shit never made sense to me. Like, you own the network. There's no reason to go to, go to commercial on your pre-show. But hey, what do I know? Anyway, uh... What, 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 what else to, to, to note here before I go into the whole main event thing? Oh, man, the main event. Um, so, Ryback continues... Uh, to be as, as CM Punk says, dumb as fuck. Can't even do his own finisher right on Luke Harper. May have dislocated Harper's shoulder. Don't actually know yet. But man, that was just... If you can't do your own finisher, then you need a new finisher. Seriously. Terrible. Um, there was a point in there that... During that, that six-man match, uh... It was a point where you heard, like, the world's saddest Feed Me More chant. He's reverse the damn finisher. You heard the world's saddest Feed Me More chant. And it was like, oh, well, there's always that one drunk guy. And it wasn't one drunk guy. It was the big show trying to get that Feed Me More chant started. It was the saddest thing. Oh, boy. I don't want to fight outside, Dean Ambrose. I'm trying to be John Cena. I'm trying to do everything, you know, uh I'm, I'm trying to be Bob Backlund from back in the old days, like the original Bob Backlund, like clean-cut schoolboy Bob Backlund. Oh wait, 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 wait! No, no, no! I need to learn. My, I need to learn my my lesson and not go to the top rope when the opponent has a finisher. It's a bad idea because they'll use it. It's happened so many times now. Oh, quick thinking. So, what else? There's a little. Other tidbits. Uh, he's doing the um, suicide dive. 
I don't want to fight on the outside. I'm trying to avoid being aggressive, video game. Yeah, all right, Dean Ambrose. Get in your... Oh my god, move. Whatever. So, I did mostly enjoy AJ Styles and Jericho. I thought that Jericho kind of... Like, that would have been a much better match, like, ten years ago. And these days, not so much. Hell's Gate! I just want to get back in the ring. Dean Ambrose. Just want to get back in the ring. Um. Yeah, I thought that that, that match was good, but man, it, it was it was a a stop short of of great. I thought that Owens and Ziggler was uh fantastic, and the first Divas match. They 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 opened that show with the Divas tag match. Uh, was. Better than it had any right to be. Although, I, and what I mean by that is it's better than it had any right to be with a match featuring Tamina, basically. Because she's still, she's been there how many years and she still can't take a, a flat back bump. She's terrible. Um, but that was an enjoyable Divas Tag match. So, I had a good time watching that. Um... Really late inclusion in that show with uh, right before the main. I, I I felt bad because the spot right before the main event is usually the oh got to get up and use the bathroom or you know buy some merch or get some food uh, and they didn't even announce it. It was just all of a sudden here come the social outcasts and you're like what and then it was like here comes our truth and I was like wait what it, 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 very confusing uh, but. Curtis Axel getting a pay-per-view victory on the match for the main event in 2016. You're like, what the hell's going on here? Don't even know. Um, that was weird. But, complete domination. Alright, let's try to put away Dean Ambrose here before he gets his finisher and whatever else. Um, so you kind of felt bad for those guys, but at the same time, you know, that's kind of what, you know, they, they should be happy they got that, that, that payday, all things considered. I would say that Charlotte versus Brie Bella was a goddamn mess, because of course it was, because it's fucking Brie Bella and she's terrible. So I'll be glad when she's, you know, done and retired. There we go. That New Day, Edge, and Christian segment that did not feature the debut of anybody. There was no Enzo and Cass there, which is why I didn't talk about it. I honestly didn't, didn't think it was going to happen. Uh, but instead, they brought out... The League of Nations, and it, like, that was a terrible, like, I like the New Day. I like Edge and Christian. I like Rusev and Barrett. Not a fan of Sheamus, not a fan of Del Rio. But that was a terrible segment, holy shit. Do we get a Renee Young interview here? Is that why we're still loading? What's going on here? Yep. Please join me in welcoming my guest tonight. Let's talk about the big show. You mean Team Cheeseburger? It seems like as a tag team, you two are not on the same page. Do you find that true? We're both hungry. We both like cheeseburgers. You know what? I'm going to get rid of the big show. I'm going to get rid of the big show. You know, you're right about that. I respect him as a tag team partner, but it's just not working out right now. I'm ready to pursue a singles title again. That's just where my head is at. Sorry, big show. There you have it. I get all the cheeseburgers. All for me. So, with that out of the way, let us discuss that main event triple threat match for the right to face Triple H at, uh, yep, bye Big Show, at WrestleMania. And I'm fighting Taker again for some bizarre reason. I don't really know why. Uh, versus finisher. Well, we'll see about that. I beat him on Legend 1, so see if we can do it again. Um, yeah, the main event was... Oh, uh, man, where do, I, where do I even start? So, the thing that I've been saying for a while now, uh, I guess I'm gonna interfere here on, on Reigns. 
The thing I've been saying for a while about Roman Reigns and... Wait a minute, he doesn't come out on the ramp? Since when? Since when has Roman Reigns ever come out on the ramp? He's, he's done it like twice. Ah, oh, this dumb cutscene again. What I've been saying about Roman Reigns and pay-per-view crowds... Uh oh, is this gonna freak out again? Where is he going? What are you doing? What? I'm not sure. Ebenezer is like drunk. He's just out of his damn mind. What is he even... What's happening here? Is he... Backhand. Like, what the fuck? I can't control... I'm, 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 not, I'm not playing this. I'm not sure what's happening here. This has happened before where, like, the AI on the assault thing kind of freaks out. They're, they're, they're supposed to attack and then leave. And they sometimes see he's not leaving now. He's just, I'm going to get involved in this match here. Ref's not going to call it because the ref's stupid. Like... Are we getting a, a fucking, yeah, top rope arm drag? Like, you, you kind of want to watch it, but then you kind of like, you know, look, I, I got more matches to play here. I, I gotta go fight The Undertaker. That might take another 15 minutes. I can't be sitting here watching CPU Ebenezer uh, uh, lose his damn mind with whatever the hell he thinks he's doing interfering in a Kane and Roman Reigns match. Like, I don't understand... I'm gonna hit skip. I don't, I don't have time. Oh no, Renee Young hit again. W wasting my time. What do you want, Renee? Let's talk about Roman Reigns. We're about to. I have pay-per-view things to discuss here from last night of Fastlane. Things to discuss. This match is everything to me. Yeah, he better be ready for a war. This match, it's everything to me. I'm not just some punk kid or flash in the pan. I am a legitimate WWE Legitimate. Superstar. I am the future of this business. And this I business. To prove it to him. I will get that win for myself <clears throat> and the WWE universe that is behind me. Uh-huh. There you have it. Back to you guys. Alright, so where was I? The thing I've been saying about pay-per-view crowds for a while now is that pay-per-view crowds come from all over the country and all over the world to spend a bunch of money to watch pay-per-views. Now, not so much on things like Fastlane, but usually, you know, WrestleMania, the Royal Rumble, SummerSlam. Those are the big ones. Uh, so those crowds tend to be people who are not going to necessarily like Roman Reigns, considering how they've, you know, been shoving him down your throat for the past, you know, two years almost. So, not unexpected for a pay-per-view crowd to not be solidly behind somebody like Roman Reigns in this capacity. So, that being said... Keep dodging it. That being said, uh, this crowd at Fastlane in Ohio, I, be I, I believe it was, in, in Cleveland was booing the fuck out of Roman Reigns. Holy shit. Like, I expect, you know, like, half and half, like, say, you know, a John Cena, but they were solidly, that, that crowd did not like Roman Reigns. Like, they were just not having it at all. And it was extra noticeable in them turning down the crowd noise. Like, literally turning down the crowd noise when Reigns came out. Like, they just kind of like, well, can't be hearing that. I, I, I can only imagine Vince in the back freaking out and being like, No! No! I gotta, I gotta cheer him! I gotta cheer him! Like, nope, not, not happening, Vince. This, this crowd was having none of it. Uh, so, the match itself was mostly okay, and that's a lot of that was due to, you know, Brock Lesnar and Dean Ambrose, uh, who the crowd was certainly behind those two. Um, but, I thought Lesnar taking two table spots... And he sold those spots like a character in this game would sell those spots. You know, for about five minutes. And was like, nope, I'm fine. Back up. Like, just didn't even phase him, which was funny. Um, I'm not a fan of the, we're gonna bury you under this table spot. Like, that. that they, 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 they did that with uh, the Big Show and Roman Reigns when they had that last man standing match, like, last year. Not a fan of that spot. It's kind of stupid. Um, 
I'm surprised they didn't go for a third table spot there because there are three tables. So that that was, you know, was what it was. But at the end of the day, like I said, they take out Lesnar and then Dean Ambrose takes the pinfall and Roman Reigns wins, which, which most people had predicted was going to happen. You know, like most people, that that was the, the end result so that you have Roman Reigns face Triple H at WrestleMania and obviously win at WrestleMania. Like that seems to be at this point to be a foregone conclusion unless you totally at some point have a swerve in the next six weeks. That seems to be what's, what's going to happen uh, on the grandest stage of them all. So, at WrestleMania, like, are, do, you th do you really believe at WrestleMania, do you really want at WrestleMania your biggest show of the year for Reigns to win the belt and that crowd to boo the shit out of him? And more importantly, uh, the one thing of the year that, that's been almost as important as Mania is the post-Raw after Mania, and you don't have the benefit of an open roof for that. So all that noise is contained. Do you really want those fans booing the fuck out of your new champion, Roman Reigns, at the Raw after Mania? Unless you're turning him heel, and they're not going to. And you know why? Because Cena is not even around right now. Now granted, he might make it back from Mania if he's a fucking insane person, but right now they want a new top face in the company. And even though the fans are saying, hey, turn him heel, we like to boo him, it's, they're not going to do it. He sells too much merch at, at this point. So, we're at this crossroads again, where Vince thinks he knows best with this stuff, thinks he, you know, is going to tell the fans what they want, and once again, the fans are just not having it. They're not, they're not... They're not buying into what you're selling. It's not working. Uh, and that's going to be a problem for them in the long haul here. Really going to be an issue. So, looking forward to seeing what, what, what they do tonight on Raw. Um, the more they're building up this whole thing with the uh, Vince's, the Vince Senior Award for Excellence, the more they build it up, the more I feel like it's going to be a work. You know, it's not going to be a legit award. Because they're gonna open, they're gonna open Raw with it. So uh, I've seen a lot, a lot of sp speculation that they're gonna give that award to Cena, and then out comes Taker, uh, and that, that's when it's gonna start that feud, which I, I guess I can certainly see happening uh, if they have Cena being as insane as he usually is, being the fucking Wolverine and coming back way, way early again. But um, yeah, that's gonna be a. Uh, I'm very curious to see this the start of Raw in a, in a couple hours here. So, be curious to see what where they go with it. Anyway, let us try to finish off the, the Undertaker here. But but yeah, so Reigns wins and fans are booing him and they're just playing his music loud and doing the pyro loud and just turning the audience knob down real slow and yeah, that was. I don't know how they possibly think this is a good idea. Like, at a certain point, you can't really ignore it. And granted, you can get fans in individual towns cheering Reigns, and you can get individual actions cheering Reigns, but as long as he's this smiling schmuck, it's not going to work. Like, the fans don't want to see it. They, they understand that, oh, this is what the boss wants, and therefore, no. Therefore, we're gonna boo, and they're not necessarily they're not necessarily booing Reigns like as a as a performer, because like he's fine, like he, he he can he can go like he he doesn't have the best cardio, but he can get it done when it needs to get done. But his cat the character they're writing for him is terrible, and that is the core of your issues. Count ref, there we go. And we beat The Undertaker, clean, in the middle of the ring, once again. How can I be less aggressive? I'm not... Please Renee, again? Really? Third time today. Let's talk about Roman sure. Do you have any words for him? Yeah, stop smiling. Be a badass. Uh, he better bring his A game. 
I have never been more focused. That fire to compete fire. is there, stronger than ever. I will not quit. I will not lose. I'm apologizing in advance, but he will be facing the most dangerous version of Okay. Him. So to him, I say, good luck. Good luck at the pay-per-view. And stop smiling. God damn it. Oh, I hate him. Thanks for the time. Back, Back to, you. to you. And that is going to wrap up. Oh, yeah. And that will... Oh! And my rank increased. I should certainly hope so from beating The Undertaker. Um, and now... Now, what is the even point... What is the point of being in a Roman Reigns feud? The whole point was he was at the top. And now, by the time I actually get this match, he is underneath where I'm at. Which is... What the fuck? And how did Big Show get up to number two? What the hell? Anyway. Anyway. That's going to wrap, wrap up a very long episode for today. Man. My, my voice is not too great at this point. Um, it's going to wrap, wrap it up. As always, I am a tax slug. This has been the 2K16 My Career Let's Play Ebenezer for Revenge. Tomorrow, we're going to fight Roman Reigns on the show before the show. Fucking hate that hate that so much. Anyway, that's tomorrow. See you then. Thanks for watching. I'm a tax slug, and I'm out.